Lurking here, you didn't even know I was coming. Bunch of nerds. What you do waiting for a guy? I know it'll turn up. You need to learn to love yourself and not tolerate this. Guess the crime. Hi from Portugal. Hey, no the ugly shirt. Ugly? How is this an ugly shirt? It's boring. It's not very interesting. But you can't say my plant patterned All Saints job is ugly. It's just very basic. Ew, school tomorrow. Your life isn't worth living. Do you play? Oh, said the Archbishop of Banterbury. No, I don't. Uh, PSs on PCs, because I would suck. I'm sure I'd love it if I did, but too addicted to too many RPGs. Hello, everybody. So, I haven't tweeted this yet. Um, anything you want to talk about for the next one minute? Your shirt is fabulous. That's more like it. This person gets to live when I choose who lives or dies. Um, your hair. Hair. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. College tomorrow, bye. Wow, rip you. Mm, someone said, this is the first live stream of yours I've watched. What's crack-lacking? That is a good start. <laughs> All right, whatever. Okay, I'm tweeting it. I have not changed my header in a while. I do like that header, though. It's quite, um... Serene, calming. No, no, like, okay, you're all here and you're watching this. There's 9,000 of you. Who's really gonna watch from Twitter? Is this on Tumblr? I've forgotten that that's happening. Oh my god, are a bunch of people like, what? I followed this because of some, like, weird memes and now there's a guy talking on my dashboard. I think that's the case. Hi, people on Tumblr. You're not gonna stop to watch this, are you? I'm just one person in here. But then if you scroll on Tumblr when you're watching a video, it, like, segues off. So maybe I... I'm an accompanying you as you put pleasantly aesthetic things in your queue. That's an honor. Hi, everyone. So, this is our first live show since I went to Australia on tour. Wow, how the time does fly. So, my hair. Yeah, that's a thing. I did that just before I left, didn't I? Might be a thing now. Not all the time, just randomly. So prepare yourself for that, it could just happen when you're least expensive. Why is that? It's because when it's short, it's kind of acceptable. Um, when it's long, I mean, you've seen video pictures of that on the internet, it's ugly. Just, just look like a tangler, it's just not attractive. Look at that, look at that. Is that cute or is that needing to be ab abolished? I can't decide. I'm just gonna... Wow. Hi! So, there we go. Is that gonna be my permanent thing now? I don't know. I don't like committing to anything, generally, at all, in life, in any way whatsoever. So I'm not saying anything's happening. You just have to see what's happening and go, that's a thing. Nails, said Lizzie Fanopoli. Yep, that was a thing that happened once. I think your shirt's nice, thank you. We need more of that. What stranger things? I will. Did you get sick again? Yes, I did. That's. <laughs> I think that's just what happens when you go on a bunch of planes and meet thousands of people. Hi Dan, I'm at uni. Any advice, lol? I am the last person that should be asking for advice at university. Oh, by Laurie. Glad the koala didn't give you any chlamydia. Nice. Talk about your nails. Okay, I'm getting an idea of the priorities here. I love you from Tara. Great. <laughs> and How Was Australia by Jocelyn. Cool. Dan, you said- wait, why is your voice weird? Is it? Is it? Is my voice weird? Do I not always sound like this? What's weird about my voice? L let me know. Commitment, ew. Hope Howell gets it. Hi Dan, I missed you. Thanks, music lover Bry. You're always weird, said music for life 33. Yeah. Watching you from class. Good luck with that. You sound less like Winnie the Pooh. Why is that? I sound deeper, maybe. Who knows? Oh. Oh, why is Dan's voice different? Roast me, please. XX Dala. What's wrong? Did somebody just take underscore Dala? Like, that's a good username. Reevaluate your brand, twat. Um, okay, that, well, that went a bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, I, I did it. There we go. I'm joking. I love you. Um, tripping on the plane, really, man. Yeah, that, that was embarrassing. When I was on the, the fight, uh, I had my headphones plugged into the arm. And I was like tangled in it. And then I got up 
uh, out of my chair on the aeroplane and I didn't realise I was still plugged in and I tripped. And at the exact moment I landed on my feet after tripping, the plane hit about turbulence and the entire train went boof and wobbled at the same time. And I was like, whoa! Wasn't aware I was flying shame airlines right now. Uh, just bad timing, but very embarrassing. I love your natural hair. Thanks, X Broken Howlter X. Have you learned true love waits yet? Yeah, maybe. But I feel like you don't deserve for me to play it to you because you keep ruining the comments under Tom York videos where calm Radiohead fans want to appreciate anything. And then you go, Dan sent me here! <laughs> Can you imagine if Dan played this to Phil? And, and then they're just very upset. So um, calm down, okay? Let's not try to leave a drastic trail of fire, whatever I mention. <laughs> Senpai, can you notice <laughs> wish I'm joking? Wish me happy birthday. Happy birthday. She ate Pooh Bear. Is that a thing? What is that strange buzzing sound? It's roadworks outside my house. How disrespectful is that? Do they not know I'm doing a live stream that 21.3k people are watching? My god, I'm sorry about the far fetched. I'm I'm literally salty about that. You don't even understand. Who is in the top fan box? Is that what it's called? It's Chantel Steele, good name, then Jezebel, then Jotalina, then Meep, nice, with an alpaca, and then Wonderfully Rachel, great. I'm writing an essay and watching you, well that's gonna be terrible, unless your essay is about being sad and waffling. Uh, do you even lift? I literally don't lift. That, that was a fun one. Um, say hi to Ellen Kens. Hey, Kens, I'll watch Stranger Things. Yup. I start high school tomorrow, help. Doomed baked potato. And then Cookie Phil sent me a message just saying, you smell. That's, that's great. So, Australian tour happened. That was fun. I like Australia. I think that I liked all the different tours for different reasons. But what I liked about the Australian tour was it was super chill. All the Australians that we worked with were really nice and friendly and just chill. They were just calm. Good dudes. They're from metal bands working in the touring industry in between albums, so they were all really cool. And yeah, Australia in general was quite good. I mean, it was, someone said, FFS Daniel, I'm at the gym right now. Get out, you are not on brand. Um, yeah. So it was fun. We went in the winter, so it was cold, so I didn't really get the hot Australian experience, but all the insects dead. So, as somebody just said in the chat, saw you there, I literally did not see any spiders the whole time I was there. That is right. I spent nearly a month in Australia and did not see a single insect. Cannot complain about that. I was like, after the stupid video, genuinely, like, almost a bit afraid, to be honest. Just that they could, like, attack us from where we least expected it. Someone said, you don't have a beard anymore. Yes. Yes. That photo we posted yesterday. A lot of people didn't realize that was a Snapchat filter. Which might make you step back a minute mentally. But they really didn't. Like, there were actually quite a lot of people that... Yeah. Um, that not only thought that we grew fabulous, uh, Lazy Town-esque facial hair, but that I suddenly grew, uh a chin as well, and had jaw bones, uh, and I don't have Snapchat or use it, Phil has it just to play with the filters. Why doesn't Dan have Snapchat? Because Dan hardly shares any of his life as it is. How often I Instagram and Twitter, you really think I'm gonna Snapchat? I have nothing to Snapchat. I don't go outside. All I do is sit on a couch writing emails all day, that's not inspirational. Uh, and it's just, you know, pressure to be entertaining. You know what I mean? But you might say there is no pressure to be entertaining. It would be nice to just see me being boring. But I can't do that. Nope. Mm, nope. Just Snapchat food. Here's some cornflakes. Here's Phil eating my cornflakes. What do you think of American Horror Story 6 is? I watched all the teasers the other day. I don't know. I mean, I think somebody leaked that it was it was the mists. I don't know what that means. Um, but I would really like it to be aliens. 
or who the hell knows. All I know is Evan Peters is ginger, and that's a great look, to be honest. I went back to school today sad. R.I.P. Emma. You look very good to dat. Thank you, Darla. Today was my first day of school. Oh my god, so all of you just went back to school. Wow. See, that's tough. Yeah. Sorry. YouTube Rewind 2016. Yup, that's happening. Not yet, though. <laughs> How was your far fet- Wait, sorry, no. Varsity Lester laughs. Send me a message. Uh, wind me up. Wow, I don't know what to say. So, um, yeah. Australian tour was fun. Didn't get to see much of Australia. Because, obviously, when you're doing a tour and you're performing in theatres and cities, you're just going to cities. So, I felt like I left wanting to immediately go back to Australia to actually see what the country was about. So, I uh, would go back to Australia at some point. Had a good time though, yeah. Hong Kong was fun. I think Phil hit the nail on the head, which is it was like a giant canary wharf, which is a gross place in London where all the banks are. And lawyers, and it's just a bit soulless, and it's just loads of skyscrapers. But really cool and futuristic at the same time. So it had like one of the uh, night coolest. There we go. Settled on a great adjective there. Coolest. After two seconds of stammering, check out my vocabulary. You have more views than Dunce. Is Jonas actually live in Dunce? Don't go check. He won over designer at the MTV Awards. Don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, um, I really like your eyebrows, I don't know why. They like you, pugs, Lester, and your taste and opinions. Um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Childs. Would love to go see that in a million years when I can get tickets. I mean, you'd thought I could have some Illuminati connection by now. I'll try. I'll try, and then I'll let you know. Nails, really good. Are they? So, somebody gave me black nail polish, and then I was like, I'll just wear it, why not? And yeah, that was fun. My review of nail polish is quite therapeutic to put on. I like spending 10 minutes putting it on my hand. Dan says with a northern inflection, that was weird. But it smells really bad. Didn't enjoy that. And then it just didn't stop. And then I couldn't touch anything for half an hour. Long ting, so ways to speed that up. Interesting, didn't smell great. Um, then it was, you know, it was cool, felt like, you know, I was extending my personality into my nails. You know, it's the whole point of style and customising yourself, so, you know, I can relate to that. That was, that was good. Um, I felt the need to, like, run my hands over it all the time, which is a bit annoying. And then once I scratched a bit and it fell off and I was like, oh no, and that was annoying. And then I needed to remove it, and then I didn't have anything to remove it with, and I was really distressed for like half an hour, and then I found some wipes, and then I did that. And then I decided to clean my laptop with them, and all the people I was with freaked out, because apparently you're not supposed to use nail polish removing strength wipes on your iPhone and MacBook. I don't know, um, but it worked, because dear god, there's a lot of hand grease all over my phone. Uh, play some Radiohead, please thanks, maybe one day. Hey Mary, I'm popping up to the top, see you there, cheeky monkey. Brandy Ark, can you wish July a happy birthday? Happy birthday, July. Guessing that's a name. Any tips for living in a dorm? By dorm, do you mean you're sharing, like, a bedroom with people? Or just, like, a house? Because a house, it's fun. Some tips. Leave the door open to show your social. It'll be awkward at first, but you need to just, you know, if you leave your door open, it says, hey, say hi as you're walking past. Um, yeah. If you're sharing a room with somebody, I have nothing to say. I imagine that'd be really awkward. Can't even imagine the awkward things that would happen if I did that with somebody. Mmm. I'm sick. Uh-oh, Maddie. So was I. I think it's just going on planes, you know, because what's gross about airplanes is they recycle everybody's air. So if somebody's sick, they go and then it gets sucked in by the air vein, and then it gets blasted into your face by that little shoot thing. So, um, whoa, Nelly. There we go. Mexico is waiting for you. Good to know, lovely crazy 35. Jo Selena. Hi, Dan. I-L-Y. Hello. How are you? 
You're awesome and my fave YouTuber said Benjamin FC. Thanks. That's a compliment. I appreciate that. Did you have fun in Australia? Yeah, I did. Uh, America was very, very busy. Like, K was scary because it was new and we'd, we would, we just released the book, hadn't we? I have something to show you in a minute that's quite cool. Um, so it was very scary because everything was unproven. And then in America, it was really big and exhausting, but we were also working on the Dan and Phil Go Outside photo album and filming the YouTube Originals documentary at the same time. So it was, you know, very full on, whereas Australia was a bit more chill. So it was good, and no spiders. What are you gonna, what are you gonna say, to be honest? Uh, yeah, speaking of, and somebody just said, Russia loves you in the chat. Well, they better, because look at this that Penguin sent me and Phil. It's the Russian version of Tabanov. How cool is that? Firstly, look at the spine. That's funny. So what's, f like, we got an email that was like, they want to publish your book in Russia. I was like, cool. Awesome. They could use our dorky book in Russia, to be honest. Um, and we just thought, okay, yeah, cool. So someone's just going to translate it. But then we realized it, our book isn't a textbook. It's this bloody thing with all this. So we were like, how on earth is somebody going to translate it? And we realized that basically it's some person in Russia basically redesigned the entire book to have Russian text. So I'm going to show you an example. Like, and all of, like, literally they had to redesign the entire book, basically. Uh, where's the start? See the start there? Look, it's all in Russian. How weird is that? It's so, and then the little annotations, and then looks like a funny page. Here, okay, right. 12-year-old Dan's website, they did the entire website and even like the JavaScript and the funniest damn thing that's really stupid is, you know my stupid dream journal that I put in just because it's interesting to look at, I didn't actually expect anyone to read it. Some poor bugger translated my scribbles. What the hell? So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's just hilarious, but the whole thing, I mean, look at that. Reasons why Phil's a weird kid. Why we're afraid, and then a funny was the, uh, I mean, spoilers, the book's been out for a year. Let's see, where's the, does Dan know his own book? No. Japan in Russian, that's a funny concept. The Funga, it's all in Russian now. And where's the fan fiction? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, what a dense book. Why did we... Someone translated my aesthetic into... Okay, that's funny. Look, it's Dan's fan fiction in Russian. It makes it look like it's some forbidden Transylvanian tome or something. Pika, A.K.A. The Hand. So, anyway, Russian version of the book. That's funny. Nails, said Whiskers. Yep, that's cool. Um, yeah. Interesting. I feel like I would buy some matte black. I'm not sure about the shiny black. I felt like it was a bit too shiny. I feel like matte is more my personality. Do, 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 do. Have you seen the Inbetweeners? Of course. I, one of the greatest British comedies of all time, in my opinion. Meeting you is my graduation gift. Well done. Proud of you. <sighs> <sighs> Come to Argentina. Fave Avatar character, my dude. So Phil might have mentioned this. Uh, as part, instead of watching an anime, we've started watching Avatar, The Legend of Aang, the Nickelodeon cartoon, because I've heard from many people on the internet that it's one of the iconic cartoons. And I started watching it, and it's really good. It's really good. Obviously, like, Nickelodeon, Saturday cartoon, it's a bit kiddier than some anime, which I'd say is a bit teeny. And it starts off a bit shit. But it's really, really cool. It's really cool. Mmm. And I like it. Yeah. You just gave the whole Russian fandom a heart attack. Well, there we go. Thank you. I mean, I think the reason they're publishing the book in Russia is because you guys hounded them asking for it. So thank you. You're the reason. Literally. <laughs> Come to Spain. Um... Yeah, are you trash? Totally. How is it to hold a koala IRL? So as you'll know from Phil's 
day in the life of Dan and Phil in Australia, which wasn't really a day in the life, was it? It's more like exciting trip to wildlife sanctuary. Marsupials are so fluffy. You have no idea. They are so fluffy. I've stroked many an animal. I'm sure you have too. Dogs, cats, whatever. Marsupials are just, they're so smooth and fluffy. They're the fluffiest things I've ever touched. Kangaroos, koalas, wallabies, whatever those other things were called. They're great. Um, but honestly, sometimes I just forget I have actually held a koala in my arms. I have actually held a koala in my arms as it embraced me with its hands. How weird is that? It's amazing. It's like actually like an emotional experience when I think about it. It smelt amazing. And by it, I mean he. He's a proud male koala whose name I misspelt. Uh, yeah, just fluffy and slow and amazing. I marsupial That's something you should do. Look very lovely with your curls. Thank you, Aubrey. Stop. <laughs> uh, YouTube is over party. Yeah, that was a thing. Ah, yeah. So as I'm sure you all know, YouTube basically uh, were like, "Hey, if you do something in your video that's way too offensive for any brand to want to put their adverts next to your video, we're going to demonetize it." And that's something that's always been part of the YouTube term of service. But they just decided to start telling people, which I feel like they should have always told people, maybe, um, whatever, that's a thing. But then they just suddenly were like, yeah, and everyone's like, whoa! And then I think, like, people, like, 100% freaked out a lot because people love to be super dramatic. And there was a lot of misunderstanding. People's channels are gonna be deleted! No, they just demonetize videos that are too offensive. But the problems were that, A... They didn't tell people that they did this like four years ago, bad, and B, they do it during an algorithm and sometimes it picked up certain keywords and did it to things that aren't really offensive. So somebody might have been like, here's my video talking about mental health and it's just like randomly being deemed offensive by the robot. Um, so yeah, that's good. I feel like whilst there was a lot of drama and misunderstanding and people that just wanted to not discuss the truth but instead just have a good moan, as with everything, a good blog post that I thought was quite balanced was posted by the Internet Creators Guild, that thing that Hank Green and Lachonikov are starting. I look forward to more balanced opinions from those guys. Whatever. Did you have another pyjama week? I had like a sick week, um, but it wasn't really a sick week. I got back on, don't remember what day. So jet lagged. Oh my god, horrifying. Absolutely horrifying jet lag coming back from... <laughs> Australia, I woke up bolt upright at like 4 a.m. Like completely awake. Complete 100%. And I was just like, and then I was awake for five hours, which is a long time. And then it was just like 9 a.m. And I was just sat there like, oh my God, this is the longest day ever. And then I fell asleep at 7 p.m. That was bad. So yeah, that was good. And we were sick. That was fun. You know, I spent like a month dying from a chest infection, and then immediately get sick again on the way back. Great. <laughs> Apparently you can get vitamin injections, and that's what people do when they go on tour. Should I go watch Joe Jonas and ask him if he gets vitamin B12 injections in his arms to keep him shiny? Yeah. So that was fun. Hong Kong was cool. It was so moist, honestly. Like, it wasn't even hot. And in that video where I'm guessing you watched the far-fetched video, it's not like I was that sweaty, it was just so wet in the air. You'd walk outside and you'd literally, it was just like a cloud. And all these people from Hong Kong were tweeting me like, you came at the worst time of year, what are you doing? Um, but it was cool, yeah. Dan, don't say moist, ew, ew. Yeah, it was moist. And that far-fetched, I'm gonna, gonna be real with you guys, that is not all I did to go and fetch that far-fetched. I made that whole video. And then, later that evening, before me and Phil went to that bar with the shiny ceiling, I went out again, and I walked the entire route of the video again. Didn't catch it. And then the next day, before the flight, I walked the entire route of the video again. 
and I still didn't catch one. I walked around Hong Kong for about seven hours, maybe? I went from, like, I'm, I leveled up, like, twice in the 20s. It was, like, I re I'm really happy that something inspired me to walk around that much, which is really weird, because I've kind of stopped caring about Pokemon Go now here in the UK, because I'm at the point where... Whether or not I catch the rest of the Pokemon that I don't have is just completely random. It's like, will you randomly stumble across a Kabuto when you're sitting by a lot? Maybe one day, you know, just play the game for another million hours and see if you get something that isn't a Pidgey. But while I was in Australia and Hong Kong, I was like, there's a reasonable chance that I need to get this one specific thing. And that was quite exciting. So I feel like they should do more things like go outside this weekend and you could get this Pokemon, which should be fun. Whatever. Should I dye my hair purple or nah? That's pretty cool. The Jack to Plier pie aren't taking one of those colours at the moment, so you can do it. <laughs> Hi Dan, I'm making bath bombs. That sounds really fun. I'd like to do it. Dan, do you have a licking tongue yet? Wink face. Don't know what that's about. Uh, no, I don't. Soz. Do not. What else is happening in live? So Snapchat, nope, Soz. Lords Ramos, number one, cool. What's your favorite song from Blonde? That happened. Frankie Ocean dropped an album. So I know that lots of you don't know everything, which is fair enough. Shan't be hipsters, shall we? Frank Ocean is a singer songwriter who's been around for quite a while, like five years. And he released some like alternative R&B, very contemporary, very cool, did an EP, it was cool. Released an album called Channel Orange a long time ago that was really amazing. It wasn't like the best thing ever, but it was so good and everyone was like, this guy is clearly amazing um, and I've stand him for a long time. And I was extremely excited for his new album and it's amazing. It's really good. So Frank Ocean released an album called Blonde, B-L-O-N-D, not with an E. And yeah, it's really good. I, at first I was like, whoa, only two songs on this album have percussion. This is quite advanced, but it's really cool. Again, I don't feel like it's like the perfect, 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 because I feel like a couple of the interludes, like Facebook story uh, and whatever, but it's so good. And a couple of the songs like Solo and I mean, Pink and White and Nights, they're just so incredible and he's a poet and an amazing musician and for, honestly, in the world, he's one of the people that I look up to the most, I think. He's just so amazing. I find him very inspirational and I look up to him in a number of ways. So you want good music, check out that. I say, dropping it. You actually did survive Australia. Actually did. Could have died from the illness, but it was cool. Are you going to release a new Sims and Undertale video soon? Yeah. Sims will be the next gaming video. Undertale after that, probably. This week, now that we're not jet lagged and we've got a couple busy things out of the way, we're going to work on some videos. So uh, look forward to a deal. Probs next. Because I'm at the point where... There's not an obvious Dan is not on fire video waiting. I kind of have the freedom to choose what I make next, which is terrible, crippling, paralyzing, terrifying, um, which means that I'll probably agonize. But there'll be a video, so look forward to it. Um, ba -ba -ba. I'm doing my homework. Ugh, not gel, Elna. Do, 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 do. Hi, you made my birthday brighter. Oh, that's a nice thing to say, Samantha. Will you ever do another cooking and questions, you now? Probably not. I'll just cook afterwards. Why did I even do that? I don't know, I'm a weirdo. Play Yandere Simulator. Dunno! Maybe. Have you enjoyed the Bake Off? I have enjoyed Bake Off so far. So, people of the world, in England, there is a show called The Great British Bake Off, where a lovely old lady, who's a baker, a celebrity baker, called Mary Berry, and a silver fox hunk with steely eyes called Paul Hollywood, do a reality baking competition, which happens in a little tent outside a posh manor 
in a pretty English garden where there's loads of pastel colours and people just, it's a baking competition and it is the best show ever. It is so important in a world filled with horror and tragedy and strife, just showing that people of all different strokes of life can come together and just bake. It's so important, to be honest. Uh, who's your favourite person? People are saying Selassie. Is he the banker? <laughs> I, I couldn't put my finger on, who's that ginger guy? The aerospace engineer. When I saw that, I was like, oh, aspirational. Reminds me of Charlie is so cool, like, do any of you get that? So Charlie is so cool, like, hi Dan, it's my birthday, hugs from Chili. Hello, antisocial spoon, hope Chili's fun. Give me confidence to keep it curly. Your hair, just do it. You know, you might need to cut it into a shape, but I suppose it'll make your life interesting. Do, 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 do. Andrew, that's his name. Yep. Hi, Dan, I just started watching. Uh-oh, Lizzie, your life goes downhill from here. Oh, yeah. Phil's playing The Witcher. He is playing The Witcher. I made him play The Witcher because The Witcher 3 is one of the best Western RPGs of all time. The universe is very generic. The game has flaws, but the quality of the graphics, the storytelling, the voice acting, it's just so wonderful that it's a transcendent experience that makes you realise other games can be that good. Why do you keep popping today? Dunno. I do things to fill the gaps while I'm reading the chat. Popping is one of them. There's many things. Congrats on not dying in Australia. Thank you so much. <laughs> Phil nailed the impossible quiz. He is. He's obviously one with that. Uh, I keep hearing, don't use your skips. So I'll bear that in mind for the end of it. Thanks for spoiling everything. <laughs> Did it again. Should I stop? You tell me. What other things should I stop? I upsetted some people by saying shook earlier. I did that deliberately just to upset you. I know that people dislike when other people overuse meme -y phrases, be they lit or AF or shook at the moment, because I feel like there's a lot of hipsters when it comes to memes and memular phrases, and they're like, uh, People stopped saying shook yesterday, and now you're saying shook still. Um, and as I've said about my meme video, nothing do I love more than upsetting people that don't like something. So um, stop, or you're going to make me do it all the time just to wind you up, which you deserve, to be honest. We all know it. Um, but okay, I'll stop. Right, thanks for not dying in Australia. Thank you. Wow, a lot of people are really, really thought I was going to die there. If I saw the thing, probably would have spider, size of my face. Memular phrases, Dan and his vocabulary. Watch out. Paint your nails again, please. Who knows? I think it depends on the outfit, you know. It's funny. Gender roles and style. Because my whole thing is, I feel like, Society, you don't need to pay attention to it. You know, rules and stereotypes, roles and rules, they're all meaningless. And yet, would I feel comfortable going outside in a pink mini skirt? I don't think I would right now, but why? I just said that there's no reason for that. Interesting philosophical questions. It's all society's fault, isn't it? We need to destroy society. Um, can you believe Phil saved the pandas? I know, this just gives me hope that hopefully one day people will, you know, start, you know, chilling about Kanye, because, you know, that's on the tree somewhere. Was it Maisie Williams that saw that? It is a small world after all, isn't it? How is your Pokemon trainer cosplay going? It's good, um, but, and it's all here and ready to go. So that'll be in the next Pokemon video, whenever the hell that is. But me and Phil, we're busy, okay? Christ. A lot of projects all the time. Speaking of which, we had a photo shoot for our Tatanoff films the other day. A lot of people are still confused. Me and Phil did a stage show. It's called The Amazing Tour Is Not On Fire. We've been performing it all around the world, but there's an official video of it, and it's been released as a YouTube original, so it's coming out on YouTube. So if you're in a country where YouTube Red is out, it'll be on that. If you're in a country where YouTube Red isn't out, then you'll just be able to buy it like a movie on YouTube in the same way that you would buy a movie on iTunes so everyone in the world can see it. 
And along with that, there is a documentary about the making of it, which is exciting. And as YouTube have been doing with all the other originals content that they've been assisting with, we had a photo shoot for it when soon, quite soon, <laughs> in my mind, don't know what soon is for you. Um, which was fun. We did some crazy stuff. Physical copy. Nope. No physical copy. Which is why we're releasing the photo book. Literally. So that there's something physical. You don't have to get it. You know. All these things are optional. But the content. That's the art. Welcome back. Thanks, Order1234. Uniface Sun is now number one. Cool. Hello. Who's your favourite existentialist? Sartre. Those little clapping hands, I keep thinking they're minions when they pop up. I'll get them to change the colours, to be honest, because that's just horrifying. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Other Tatanoffs in the future? Still working on it! Would you believe? Would you believe? It turns out, as mainstream as you think YouTube is, you phone a random theatre around the world and say, hey, book these YouTubers that you've never heard of around the world. They're like, we don't believe you. Who are you? You're a flop. And they're like, no. We've literally performed nearly a hundred, hundreds of thousands of people have come to see this show. You should, and they're like, don't believe you, sorry. It's not worth the risk. Got someone doing Pantomime Aladdin next week. I think I'll book them instead. It's a struggle. YouTube is still a new thing. What's your favourite song, said Emma Peffer. I don't have a single favourite song. That's too hard. I don't trust people who say they're single favourite. Actually, there's lots of reasons why people might have a favourite song. Maybe I just haven't had any happy memories to associate a song with. So, um, thoughts on Lame is good, cool. Rubber up for Dan. Sexual health, it's important. Um, say hi to my puppy Isla. Hello, pupper. How are you doing? Watched any anime recently? No, because I'm watching Avatar. Such is life. What's up with Stand Up To Cancer? Stand Up To Cancer! So, so um, Stand Up is a charity. It's an amazing charity. It's worldwide. Um, and it donates money to cancer research. And it's a particularly good charity because the way that it's set up means that 100% of the money goes to clinical trials, not on, like, marketing for their own thing. So, um, it's an amazing charity. And they do a show in the UK every year. And last year they did a live stream and we helped out. We were on tour as it was happening, but we gave away some tickets, this, that, and the other. But this year... Me and Phil are getting involved in a slightly larger and more exciting way to raise some money for cancer. I'll just say that. Um, raise some money for cancer. Hear cancer, spend it on whatever you like. Whoa. Um, but then they did that whitening photo. Do you remember that? Yeah, that was fun. I, we, I think I was... Where was I? I was at the airport. Hong Kong would you to go to Australia, got a push notification saying they tweeted me, loaded the picture that showed a bunch of YouTubers that were taking part, and my, I said out loud to Phil, I was like, well, that's a lot of white people right there. So they posted a photo of some people that were getting involved, and they were all white. That's just embarrassing, isn't it, honestly? So, and I, immediately, everyone freaked out, as they should, and I asked them, like, what, 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 why, why did this happen? Because cringe attack. And they were like, oh, we have an incredibly diverse range of people getting involved in it. And they do. It's true. I was like, so then why did you tweet a photo that just looked like an Avengers assemble of privilege? <laughs> and they were like, oh, well, the people that just happened to be available for the photo shoot this week, they all just happened to be white people. And I was like, and I mean, when it's like that, it's like, what are you going to do if it just so happens that the only people that say yes are the same colour? At the same time, maybe don't post the photo if that's the case. I don't know. So, whatever. But I've been assured by them that there is a, a, what, a very diverse range of people getting involved in it. Just a bit of a flop from whoever was running the Twitter, among other cringe things. Um, hi to the Pokemon trainers. Hello. Is that your group chat or something? OML, you're awesome. Thanks, Lee Puppet. How's that hand up your bum? Australia was cool. What Stranger Things? Okay, Ash Broad. But then they whitewashed the photo. <laughs> I don't think they whitewashed the photo. That was just the effect they were going for. Uh, which is, you know... And I think it was just contrasty. I think it just made all the uh, Voldemorts look even more Voldemorty. Whatever. I've heard lessons have been learned. 
but good for everybody for bringing it up. Uh, I'm making cookies. Do you want one? Don't start that for me right now. Say hi to the Pokemon Trainers group chat. It was. Guessed it. Stalking you. Know your life. Uh, how are you today? I'm good. Thanks for asking. What was up with your bath the other week? My bath. Oh, what? My bath flop. Yeah. What's I feel like baths. I feel like I'm not doing them well enough. I feel, what can I do to make a bath really great? So you sit in a bath, you make sure it's the right temperature. Use a bath bomb, obviously. What else can you do? Is a bath bomb and a candle too much? Several candles? I feel like that's just a bit stressful, maybe. Music? Do you need to watch something? What is the calm music? Yeah. Do you think you should watch something in the bath? Or do you feel like you, you specifically shouldn't watch something in the bath? Do you feel like it's important to not look at something, but just soothing music? Mm, okay, think about nothing. I can't think about nothing. I need to be presently occupied at all times, otherwise I'll start thinking about the inevitability of death and all my regrets. Dan's still sad about the far fetch, literally. Movies on your laptop, watch anime, read a paper book. Anime. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. That's a good... Mm, yes, yes. I watch Undertale videos. You've only had... Five baths this year, you discuss me. <laughs> um, reading in the bath. That sounds stressful. I'd splash everywhere. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Did you get the emu selfie? I did, yeah. There's a lot of selfies I forget to post, isn't there? Sorry, guys. Um, let me see. My phone's on 1%. Shit. Wow. What's going to happen? Oh, my God. Let's see. Look, I've got a... Exclusive there, selfie with a wallaby. Look at me and Dan. They're all those me and Dan. Yep, named the wallaby after myself. What can I say? I'm narcissistic. Uh, yeah, I could post this on Tumblr. There was like a sequence of emu. That's that's it. That's the emu selfie right there. I just forget sometimes. You know, little old neurotic Dan. All gets too much. Needs to hide from the world. Need some time to just not think about all of the terrible things. And just distract. In which case, things like emu selfies, they fall through the cracks. My god. Did you get the emu selfie? Yes. Speak Spanish. No. I went to PAX West last weekend. How was that? That seems fun. Seems bloody huge. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can you say hi to the Dan's Flip Flops group chat? There's probably a reason behind that. Don't know, to be honest. Post the nail picks. No. Just, you don't deserve it. Um. <laughs> the night manager. Watched that on the plane. That was fun. So, Tom Hiddleston in a drama. It was very fun. Tom Hiddleston doing a drama about... He worked at a hotel. Tom Hiddleston plays an ex-military guy that now works as the nighttime manager of a hotel in Egypt. Falls in love with a girl. Girl gets murdered. He goes on an espionage quest for revenge where a billionaire arms dealer needs to get his plot foiled by Olivia Colman playing the same character that she does in every show but we love her. Um, and it was good. It was surprisingly good. It was also very silly. So much sexual Tom Hiddleston fan service. That's not spoilers, that's like the bio of the the show. Okay. Um, but seriously, every single episode had like a gratuitous Tom Hiddleston nude scene. It was like, he's showering naked under a waterfall. Normal people don't do that. Oh, he's lying in a bed and he's just like, spread eagle lying on the bed with just a sheet barely covering his crotch. It's like, okay. Not complaining, but you've turned your show into something silly. Um, 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 I'm trying to study, please. Can you not? Or should I just stop the whole thing? Sorry. I understand that. Mmm. Somebody once told me that you had an onion that looked like Broadchurch. Have you seen Broadchurch? Broadchurch is great. Broadchurch is very silly, but extremely fun. And again, again Olivia Coleman playing the exact same character. Amazing. Don't you love Olivia Coleman? She is the best person in the whole world. More Dill soon. Yeah. Can you say hi to the Shady group chat? I have one group chat in my life. 
that's my friendship circle right there. I was at the location, that sounds ominous. Mm -mm -mm. Come to Canada, I did. Where were you? To be fair, didn't go into much, but sorry about that. I will one day. Where's your nail polish you promised? Did I? Did I? How's Avatar? Avatar's fun. I'm at school, you rat. Well, stop me and learn. For God's sake, you mess. What's important? What's important? Please give me to live. Uh, next season of Game of Thrones. A flavor of cake you haven't eaten yet. Unless you're perhaps lactose intolerant. Something dramatic's bound to happen at Dill's wedding. There you go, that's something to hold on to. Please, can you say hi to Serena and Jane? Hey, Jarena. Gave you a name. What are you going to do about it? But, 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 so what's happened since I was gone? I mean, other than, like, Frank Ocean, I mean, not catching a far-fetched. What, what's happened since I left? Stranger Things has happened. Yep, need to watch that. D-dubs. Are you all right mentally, Caitlin? When has that, when has the answer to that question ever been yes? Let's be real. Harambe, did Harambe happen in the last three weeks? Harambe died a second time in the last <laughs> fortnight. Voltron, mm. you released new merch. We did some snazzy pencil cases. Why don't I take this moment to spawn danandphilshop.com? What do you think of Louise's rebranding? I feel like, uh, fair enough. I feel like you should never work yourself into a corner. I feel like, as uh, many existential philosophers would say, you need to be authentic. Otherwise, you're not truly living. Um, honestly, said somebody in the chat. Truly. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, Louise is very funny. I always feel like Louise's best quality is that she's immensely funny. So, whatever, you know, I think she should do whatever makes her happy. Mmm. You know. And if people don't like it, it's a fact. Might be a shame. But, I think that Louise needs to do what's important for her. You know what I mean? There's plenty of people making content out there. So there's content for everybody. So I feel like somebody should always be true to themselves and make what they want to make. Because if somebody is like, hey, I liked you for this other stuff you make, then, you know, sorry if you don't like the new stuff, but there will be someone making the stuff that you do like. So it doesn't affect you, but then the person making it's happy. That's what's important. We should all be happy. Pastel edits. Where's my fan mail? Your mum. Uh, your eyebrows look good tonight, do they? Do they not most Tuesdays? Oh dear. Now I'm insecure about another thing. How are you? I'm good. I feel like the warmness is ending in the UK, which is great. Skipped that a bit. Um, I do question some of your tastes. Sometimes I wonder, how could you like me and Phil? Just me by myself. Just Phil by himself. Dan and Phil and what they're about together. The reason that they're individuals and then like other people. Because I'm like, where's the, where's the overlap there? Is it just that you like boys with brown hair? Or is it the personality things? Because sometimes I wonder how the personalities are compatible. Because you're wonderful. Thanks, Stacey W. You just made my day a hundred times better. I'm not saying why you like us at all. I'm saying... Why you like lots of other people all at once. Everyone's unique, they are. But I'm just questioning the personality overlap, not. You will think I'm asking why you like us. I don't care why you like us. I'm saying how can you like us and some other people at the same time when we're so different. You made my day a hundred times better. Hello. Look who's finally back. Dad, I've missed you. Hello. Listen to Deanne Wirt's new single. It's average. Whoa. Dan went there. Don't care. I'm going to burn your hair. I need them sometimes. That would be really terrible. Uh, what's your favourite panic song? Don't have an answer. That beard photo, oh my gold. Wow. I know, right? I'd look good with a jaw. Or not, I kind of look like the guy from Lazy Town slash the 
mean jerk from Beauty and the Beast. You know what I'm talking about. Chin attack. School is making me want death. Help. Relatable from Parrot. Go be a YouTuber. Please say hi to my... Didn't offer any advice there. Don't have one. Uh, when the day met the night. Good taste. Mmm. Gaston. Gaston. That's the guy. Mmm. Sporticus. That's also the guy. Two aspirational gents right there. Impressive chins. Don't you meant Gaston? I did meant Gaston. Boop. Watch Vocaloids. Should I... Please make a video with the slow-mo guys. Very, very random request. Don't see that coming up any time in the pipeline, but I do love them dearly. Always have a good natter with those guys whenever I see them at the YouTube Illuminati meetings. Attack on Titan Season 2 is coming up after a million years. I'm going to have to rewatch the whole thing just to remember what happened and get traumatized all over again. What about you? Are you excited for it? Homeland? That's not coming back until next year, apparently. What? Can we be friends? No. I for American Hands, American Hands, season six. My favorite show. What do you think about the Mandela effect? Shut up. No. What? I mean, do I believe in alternate universes? Maybe. I don't fucking know. Stephen Hawking seems to believe in pocket dimensions and all that shit. Uh, string theory. Classic bants. Um, but do I believe that there's an alternate universe in which, no, what? Um, you're interesting with a nice face. To be honest, Melanie, that's all I could ever hope for. Thank you. Does meeting people at airports bother you? Don't have an opinion on that. That was a funny one. Because sometimes I have about things. Sometimes I, I don't about things. And... I felt like I need to do some thinking and I'm afraid I'll offend people. So I just don't want to think about it yet. Your hair looks lovely. Thanks. Say hi to the jumper cult. You guys and your group chat names. Don't want to know the way to kinky reasons, you name it, just to be honest. What about the new YouTube rumours going around? Um, for FYI, because that happened on the day where I was at the photo shoot, I asked a bunch of people at YouTube, am I fine? And they were like, yeah, you're fine. Like, you need to basically say like, um, God is a twat, also, uh, screw these political leaders, also, death to all people, and here's a penis, and a violent beheading, and I'm gonna snort some drugs off your elbow, and that's it, and everything else is mostly a misunderstanding. And it's just demonetized, nothing gets deleted, no one's gets shutting down, but who cares about the truth, when we can all have a good dramatic rant, enjoy it, and then move on. Such is the nature of our clickbait social media society. Who takes the time to find out the truth when a lie that's super dramatic goes viral, gets everybody's attention, uses up the attention span while they have it, and then everyone forgets to move on to the next thing, and it gets buried under a mountain of garbage! So, um, what was I going to show Oh, that, I did show you that. Look at my phone charging brick. This contains three charges. Saves my life. Big gold brick right there. iPhone coming out tomorrow. I'm excited for that. Look at this hunk of shit ready to replace it. Check your privilege, Dan. Lots of people don't have iPhones, but I'm going to. I mean, yeah, I'm going to buy a new phone and it's going to be exciting. Um, pop, you pop your mouth like Donkey in Shrek 2. Again, incredible compliments. You guys are just being very kind to me today. I don't know what to say. You're coming left, right, and center with these incredible compliments. I'm gonna sneeze, and that's gonna be gross. What's your highest CP Pokemon now? It's still Vaporeon. Fire Doggo is second, but you should always, you know, before appraisals came out, you had to do this awful thing to check the IVs of your Pokemon, and I was like, look, this Growlithe's the highest CP. I'm gonna evolve this one. Didn't check the IPs, because I was like, it's gonna be fine. Evolved it. Leveled it up. Look at my fire doggo. It's 2000. It's epic. Appraisals came out. Says it's shit. The IVs of the Growlithe that identified fire doggo were terrible. Bloody hell. So now I need to get a million more Growlithes. Except I'm not going to get a million more Growlithes because all you get in London are Pidgeys, Rattatas, and Drowsies. Drowsy, drowsy, drowsy. Ugh. Get your snout away from me, you weirdo. 
So thanks, Miss Emma, for that question. Talk about Game of Thrones. Good show. Pretty good. My favourite show. Boop, 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 boop. Scary Games this Halloween. Probably a cert. I'm going to say that right now. That's going to happen. I named my drowsy after you. Oh, thanks. That's good. Make a lovely face for me to draw. There we go. That was it. Welcome back. I've missed you. Thanks. Hmm. Boop, 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 boop. I'm in love with you. Interesting. Hmm. Dan, oh my god, I have opinions ready to go, but rude. I need to keep it down. <laughs> Say hi to the kinky demons. I'm honestly in these group chat messages. You need to stop. Jumpers. Bananas. Kinky demons. I don't even know what to say to you. Would you ever paint your nails a different colour? I've got some see-through one that's like glitter, but then I really hated it because I, I just felt all these glittery lumps on my fingers. Woo! Can you please say hi to me? No. Uh, I cannot, Cassie. Sorry. Good to see you again. Hey, Nibsy. Great. Name there. Are you still salty about Farfetch? Stop bringing it! But I actually, I'm really... Our group chat is called Gay and Sinning. I love my audience. Listen to Deanne Word's new single. It's not good. Right. I think you freaky. Was cool. Iconic. Fatty Boom Boom was like... Mm. <laughs> Babies on Fire. Most iconic song I think they'll ever make. Just incredible. In iconic music video. And Yolandi just rapping. And it's just really good. And it's just so good. And I just wish there was more like that. Speaking of FKA Twigs, her whole live performance from the Pitchfork Music Festival is on YouTube. Go watch that if you want to be cleansed of your sins. Ba 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 do the dab please. I'm not your slave, you dab. Mark Zuckerberg. Don't get zucked. That's a bad thing to do opinions with. Uh 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 Senpai notice me. Hello Alexandra. And does the bear lamp ever get lonely? No, he's got um, Justin Bieber looking up his butt. So he's good, to be honest. My group chat is called Harambe Died for This Group. My God. You guys don't know when to quit. <sighs> How's the pneumonia? Gone, thank you. I know what life is like to not cough now. Could have died, didn't. It's all fine. Got a sniff. All good. Such is life. When you fly. I streamed for longer than Dunce. Just putting that out there. I tried Maltesers for the first time today. And was your life changed? That's exciting. Dan, it's 10. Go to bed. Go to bed? Firstly, it is not 10. It is 9.59. So I get to stay here for a whole two minutes. But why, why would you think I would go to bed at 10 p.m.? Because if you know what time it is in England, which is 10 p.m., why would you... My group is called Homo Shrexuals. Okay, um, yeah, I feel like that Homo Shrexuals, that did it. We've been talking for an hour. <coughs> that went fast. Cheeky coffee there. Wow. It's been good to be back with you guys. I've had a good time. I hope you had a good time. I missed you. Good to be back in England. Enjoyed Australia. New Dan is not on fire videos. Amazing Phil videos. Dill video. Undertale video. Other gaming videos we filmed 10 years ago that we still haven't edited. They're coming. Look forward to them. Don't know when. I'm not going to commit to anything. Not even a shade of nail. Um, but yeah. It's been cool. I hope you're good. You know... Live life in the slow lane. Take time to step back. Ponder the picture before jumping into the pond. My group chat is called Randomness. Interesting. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next Tuesday, probably. Uh, not going abroad anytime yet. And yeah, 
there's going to be like a cool two, three week period of peace and then shit's going to hit the fan. So um, look forward to that. And I hope you're good. Stay hydrated. Forget that every now and then. Had to down a pint of water earlier because I forgot to drink anything for like five hours in the morning. Get your sleep. Make sure you're part of a group chat if you can. It must be quite fun. But don't cyber bully anybody because that's bad. And I'll see you next Tuesday, you dirty bitches. Bye.